So the very first album that you put out, what what was it called? Oh man. Very first album I put out or the very first uh man, I told y'all I was making them dumbass tapes. <laughs> when did when did the brain matter come out? Um okay. The brain matter, see that's that's even later, man. So so look, I'm I'll take you through the history. So when I was a kid, I was making them little dumbass tapes. Then I, I got with this record company back in the day. They was in the town and they go, bam. They was like, we gonna put this nigga on. But they wasn't from the town though. Okay, these niggas was from like Memphis or some shit. So I'm with these niggas, bam. We we worked on a project. The nigga, one of them niggas is making beats and shit and I had him do all this dark shit. <laughs> You know what I mean? So we I put out we put out this album. Now listen to this. We put out this album. It was the first Twist and Insane project. It was old as a motherfucker. It was, came out in like 99. I was a motherfucking kid. It was called Tales from what was it? Tales of my mortuary or tales from my mortuary or some weird shit. I don't remember, but it was it was the first shit that I had done. I made that shit. I don't even know. This was before iTunes and all that other shit. They put it out like on some website or some weird shit. I don't know what they was doing. The internet started booming and what the fuck they was doing. I was like, whatever. I would never get no money for that shit. I did. No, I didn't dip. I started working on a whole different project that I produced myself. This was a whole album. That album that album was called The Devil Made Me Do It. Okay. That was that was 2001. When The Devil Made Me Do It, when I finished The Devil Made Me Do It, I was recording it over at this guy. He had a studio. And I was paying him, and I was going over there and recording it. Then I got kind of was getting my own shit, so I was recording my own shit. And then I did that, and I pieced it together. I finally got it. They gave me he gave me the one copy, the master copy. At that time, I, I had to get up out of Dago quick. I left the town and start floating around the United States with this one copy of that album. The devil made me do it. Just one copy. It was one copy in existence. It was my whole album, though. It was my shit, you know. So I, I you know, that was like my, that was my shit. I was running around. I was just out there wilding the fuck out because I'm wild. I was wilding the fuck out. <laughs> you know what I mean? Do you still have that what, album? I don't even know what happened or who got. I think I left it in the homie's car. And I got, I do not have it. I don't have no access to that or none of the songs from that. And that was an entire album recorded, done in the lab, in the studio. So after that, I'm still moving all around. Bam. Now I'm moving all around. This is the real, the niggas don't got the scoop. This is the real scoop. You asking the questions, I'm giving, see, this is the real interview of interview. So I'm moving all around. Bam, I end up up in um, Portland. I link up with my little relatives from the set. My and my other relative, we out there. These niggas is broke. I'm broke. Niggas ain't got no money. Niggas ain't doing shit. <laughs> I'm going over this nigga house every day. He living with some female, but he got some like recording shit that he doing, right? This mm -hmm. nigga, my relative, these niggas is making beats on the PlayStation. I'm oh, laughing wow. At these hey, I'm laughing at these niggas. There was like a PlayStation. There was like some PlayStation program that came out. They over there making beats on PlayStation. All type of wild shit. I come in. I had beats. They, they started doing some shit. So it was just me. It was just us three. They wasn't doing. They didn't know what the fuck they was doing. I'm like, man, I'm doing something. So I'm over there. Bam. I'm over there. I'm uh, pushing that shit. 
are recording that shit. I'm just over there. I'm over there recording. It's a raggedy. Nah, nah. I'm recording. It's raggedy. It ain't shit in there. It was nothing but a, a a mattress on the floor and a milk crate for the. <laughs> and it, it wasn't nothing in there. You know what I mean? But it, and I came in there and I had to. We had the mic in there, so we started recording. I'm like, we just gonna start making songs. Then over at my house, I had to record and shit. They would come over and do a couple of things, but they didn't know what was going on. They was just over there like, whatever. We were just over there all day like, man, whatever. I'm like, man, fuck this, nigga. This is what I'm going to do. Because I knew this is all I was going to do. I, I, I went over there. I had a little CD uh, recorder. I, I recorded these songs. Um, I was like, I'm going to take this song, this song, this song. And I pieced that, that little brain matter shit together. Let me tell you about that brain matter was... Well, before you do that, I'm gonna say that shit. That shit was that shit was sick, man. And yeah, and, it, yeah. and and it was and it was so crazy. Is how come how come that wasn't on the green collection? Because listen to this, you're gonna trip out. I don't even have no. I don't even have that shit. <laughs> I, don't, wow. like, I don't even. Have, I don't even have the brain matter. Let me tell you, I'm trying to give you this the history. So so I pressed up these songs, and when I was making the brain matter, it was really like. It was like us three, but then I pressed I pressed up a couple CDs. I pressed up maybe, I ain't going to lie, I pressed up like 30 or 40 or 50, maybe 30 or 40, 50, 50 of those Brain Matter CDs. I sold them 30, 40, 50 Brain Matter CDs, and that was it. I was like, nigga, I'm make, I was like, I'm making my shit. I'm going to make a real album. That's what I was on. I was like, nigga, I'm gonna make my shit, and that's what. That's when I made this shit called the Essence of Evil, and the Essence of Evil was like my 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 shit because it was after that brain matter shit. I was like, it was kind of maybe at the same time, or I was like, man, fuck that because I was selling them while the time I was doing this survey shit. I'm like, fuck this shit. I'm out there selling this shit. I was already drunk in the motherfucker every day all day. I'm out there doing that shit. I'm like, I'm out there selling these CDs. I sold that shit for six dollars. Right? The brain matter shit. And it was just a press, it was like a burnt copy. It just said brain matter on it. I just wrote brain matter on it. It wasn't even no burnt. It wasn't even no, it was just a raggedy, it was just a blank CD that said brain matter on it. I'm walking up motherfuckers trying to tell them I rap, selling that shit for six dollars. I sold maybe 30, 40 of them, and it that's it, right? Then I made the essence of evil. With the essence of evil. I created it like, you know, like an album. And then I uh, but it was still grimy. It was it was the essence of evil was recorded still in a raggedy ass room, mattresses on the floor, nothing just fucking nothing, just dirt on. I mean, it was grimy. I made that shit and then I, I pressed up like five hundred of those motherfuckers, right? All just mm-hmm. on the blank. It was a blank C D that said Essence of Evil when I sold them for like ten dollars and I sold all five hundred. But I just say that because years later, you could you could find the brain matter made its way to YouTube, and I think that it made its way from one person, and then but you can't you couldn't find the essence of the evil that the essence of evil was gone. It was like it was just them motherfuckers had their shit, and that's what they they had their shit, and you couldn't find that no more. That's on the uh, the ultimate collection, but you couldn't find that shit no more. So then I um after that. I was fucking with this nigga Guarantee who was making a real album. I didn't even know how to make a motherfucking album. I just knew how to make songs. <laughs> I'm in the lab. I'm in the, I'm in the house making songs. I don't even know how to, how to put an album together or do any of that shit. iTunes wasn't active like that, but I'm watching him and I'm going to the studio with him. I'm seeing him pay all kind of money going every, he going every day and he's paying all kind of money and hundred dollars an hour and all this other shit. Then when he's done, he took his shit, gets it mixed, mastered. I'm sitting there watching him though. Then when he, because he was using my beats. And then when he was, because I produced the shit. So then when he was done after that, hey, that album was tight as fuck too. Look that shit up. Guaranteed to shake up. That motherfucker tight. I don't even know if that's on YouTube or anywhere, but that shit tight. But look, I, I uh. The Shake the shake Up, that's your album, right? Or. Nah, that's Guaranteed's album, The Shake Up. Okay. So I, I, I but I produced it. So I do know you, that. Do you still make beats? Yeah, hell yeah. I'm doing my shit right now. You know what I'm saying? Um, I just I had some shit on the um that outcast, the uh No Love and uh some other shit on there. I produced, I forget, I I produced some shit on the um outcast, but I I did like I did all I'm I'm doing my shit right now, heavy. 
But I know that um back then I was like, you know what? Fuck this. I saw him press up. To, I saw he took me to the place that made the CD. I saw, he took me to the place and saw the guy do the artwork. Because back then it wasn't like it is now. He took me to the place where they pressed up the CDs and I watched it and I seen it done. And as soon as I seen him do that shit, as soon as he went and picked his box up, I started. I said, I'm not going, I'm not doing this shit in the Raggedy Ass house no more. I'm going to the studio. And I went to the studio. I was like, I'm not doing this shit like this. I want the big shit. So I went to the studio and that's when I recorded the shoot for the face one. And I'm still just, you know, it was just grimy. But I recorded that. I went to the studio. Uh, but the homie had a studio. His studio was up in the attic. And his mattress was right there. And the floor was right there. It was just like the other house. But he had a better equipment. But it was grimy, though. But it was better equipment. So I'm like, I'm going to record here. And I, and I did. And, but, you know, he eventually moved into a giant-ass spot. Now he got, like, the number one studio. But back then, it was just the beginning. You know what I mean? Now his shit just out of control. But back then... You know, I made the shoot for the face one and 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 that's kind of when I when I really started um this shit for real. Okay.